What's going on, Brother Noose? Alright. What we got here is the first of the spray can microphone series. This is the first one I've gotten done. I'm sending it out to you. Uh, feel free to slap a paint job on it, any style that you want. Quarter inch out jack right there. And the little holes right here is where you sing into. It's self powered, there's no battery or anything to ever change. Try to usually hold it upright. It can take a couple bumps and bruises and stuff, but uh, holding it upright will definitely also help when you're uh, singing into it for the sound to transmit better. So, like I said, there's no batteries to every place or anything like that, so you're going to have to turn up the volume a little bit on this guy. It's not going to be as powerful as something with a microphone or, or not a microphone, with a battery or something adding a little power to it. But, so it's cool, man. Nice little piece of street art. Don't ever have to worry about batteries or anything like that. You just plug it and go. Here's the boom box. It's pretty much set up like a normal boom box. You have the antenna here, and that transmits through this guy here. You can pull this antenna out. It stretches out really far. Uh, you want to have this about 20 to 30 feet away from the boom box when you're going to use it. You can speak into it just like a normal microphone. This is the on-off switch. You click this on. And uh, you can speak through it, sing through it, or whatever, and it'll come through the boombox. This is an eighth inch jack added to it, so you could run in uh, another microphone. I've hooked up the spray can, plugging it in through the through this as well, and you can use bo both mics at the same time. Uh, a drum machine, a keyboard, anything. So uh, that's another cool little accessory. You can plug anything in the eighth inch jack, and it'll be transmitted through the boombox. This thing is a little bit funny with the switches and stuff. I usually keep it on tape and I usually keep it on AM. You'll notice it'll still work when you put it on radio and when you put it on FM but it's a little bit more glitchy. I get more of a consistent uh, result when I have it on tape and when I have it on FM. But you can turn it up through the tone and through the volume. And it's definitely something that's unique. Put it together with the spray can microphone, and uh, I don't think anybody else has got one of these. So my plans with the spray cans is I've been collecting them from different artists. I want to get a couple from yourself too, and I want to do a series of uh, spray can microphones. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about it. There's going to be some designs that I do for a little bit more money uh, with batteries added to them and stuff to add a little bit of juice to them and stuff. But then you're always going to have something to replace and you lose some of the spray can aesthetic. That was another reason I wanted to do it this way is because I didn't want to lose any of the actual spray can aesthetic to the piece. So yeah, brother man, whenever you get a chance, uh, try them out. Let me know what you think. Take it easy, brother man. Thanks again for all the support, brother. And I appreciate getting to share inspiration. Stay in contact, brother.